Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to find pins to copy so that you can get more Pinterest traffic. The easiest way for me to do this is to go to Pinterest and type in pinterest.com forward slash source forward slash any website.com. So this is marketingartfully.com. And these are all my pins. And I have some that do well. This one's going a little, you know, a little viral right now because a nice lady pinned it. Last night, this one went really good. My, um, the people in my uh, demographic like, um, <laughs> can you tell I don't like it? Uh, the people in my demographic like computer keyboards with um, pink things and then a text overlay. So, that's um, something, but I've been working on this new kind that I got from my friend, Stephanie. She doesn't know she's my friend, but she said I could use it, so I'm using it, um, in Spaceships and Laser Beams. So this is kind of a fancy, um, like a picture on top, a picture on the bottom, a fancy word, and then another word. So, I mean, it's not like she, I think she said she got it from somebody else too, um, we're all copying each other, so that is cool, but the best way to find out what pins, you know, you could recreate that pretty easily, but the best way to find out which pins to use would be to do a search for your own, um, your own topic. So you're going to do, so I write about, a lot about dementia. And then I would want to see what kind of pin, so this is my pin, it's very popular. Um, but there's that same kind of look. Um, that's mine. So there's two pictures with a, a text box in the middle. Um, this one's mine. This is an illustration, so that's interesting. Um, this is a good one. And the reason why you want to look at, oh, this is a good one. So like a dark pen um, with just words and there's no box there's just words over a darkened pin and the way you would do that is super easy super easy so let's do that one real quick um so we're gonna say we want a we want a pinterest one let's see social media we want a pinterest one where's our pinterest one there we go all right pinterest one all right, so you're just going to take and you're going to say, so it starts, you want to figure out front to back, what's the most important one. So we're going to upload this and we want a picture of old lady hands. And since I write about dementia a lot, I have a lot of old lady hands. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm trying not to make this part take forever. So I didn't specifically find that kind of old lady hands look, because you're never going to, like, you don't want to exactly copy what they're doing, but I totally found this old deer. Okay, so first off, we want to make this a picture, and then we want to bring our old deer in, right? But she's too bright, because we want to type over her, right? So the way you make her dark is you do this, you get a square, you cover the whole thing, usually with black, and then you dial this back. So you can just see her, maybe a wee little bit more, and then you can put your words on it, right? And that will, the words will really pop out on that the way this does. And then see, they have that little bar at the bottom that has their website down there. So all you would do is you would go in. You would make a little bar and black, because theirs is black. And then you would put your website down there with a little text. And I 
think there's maybe a little gray. But that's how you kind of get that same look and feel for a dark pin like this. Um, one last thing I wanted to show you real quick was I did make a template for um, that fancy Stephanie pin. So this kind right here. So this is it. And the nice thing about this is we want to go back home. I can use this template over and over and over again. So all you do is you say make a copy and then you're using the copy and when you go back home your template is still there. And so you're not ruining your template. You're just doing, um, just working on the one that's there. And the one thing I wanted to show you here was let's just import, let's just put some pictures in so that we can see it. Okay, so see how these words are, we want these words to be in black, but we want a white background to them. So what you're going to do is you're just going to say copy, and you're going to say white background, and you're going to make it a tiny bit bigger, and then you're going to say position backwards. Not go to back, because then it would be all the way to the back, um, but you can do it, just keep getting it a little bit bigger until you see enough white back there that you like how it pops off the page. And that way it is, um, it's a lot easier to see that. Ooh, something, something went there. Okay. Oh, that's better. There you go. There you go. And this is just a line. So this is kind of cool. I loved how this worked. So if you go to elements and you come down here, they have this cool little dotted line that you can put in your you know, you could put a dotted line anywhere. But Canva has a lot of really cool ones of these. Um, that you can use and here here is see how stephanie has it and the reason why hers looks so much better is her words are her her big black words are not as high as mine are right hers are further down So you can see that big major word, the majority of that big major word in the white background. And then this is just peeking up a teeny little bit at the top, like see for this part of the D. And that's, that's where you get that really cool look that there's a little bit of that peeking up over the top without it being so um, hard to read against a picture background. So hopefully that helps, Tara Jacobson. Marketing Artfully.